Man, listen, y'all thought that I was just going to upload Coke Chronicles, and that's the only content y'all would get out of this summer? Y'all thought that old school goblin content would never come back, didn't you? Y'all are some idiots for that. Today we're going to talk about the time that I took three hulks and spilled a bunch of Raisin Bran Crunch on my Jordans. It really sucked, and it was a bad time. So we're going to fucking talk about it. Drop a like if you guys enjoy. Coke Chronicles 4 dropping tomorrow, everybody. I apologize for the delay. It was supposed to go out tonight, but I wasn't happy with how it turned out. So instead, we throwing up this surprise fucking banger. I never told y'all that I had this coming. <laughs> Bitch, we had it ready. Let's get some hype in the chat. Also, I decided that we're going to have some fun in the comments today. The comment section is typically just a shit show. It's not a hoot and a holler very often. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have a shootout in the comments today. Every comment better be a gun sound. Like, bow, bow, pow, you know, kaplooey. Do some creative shit. Gun sounds. I don't want to see a single comprehensible word in the comments. Whoever's comment has the most likes won the shootout. You dislike someone's comment, that means you shot them. If you reply with the gun sounds, like, if you dislike, you got to reply, right? You got to shoot back, right? If you like, that means you're shooting for him, right? So that means you're helping him out. So you don't got to reply if you're shooting for him, right? You just got to reply if you're shooting back. So it's a shootout in the comments. I hope that makes sense. Either way, let's dive into it. Taking Xanax and eating Raisin Bran Crunch. Now, listen, this happened about two weeks ago, all right? I'm going to be straight up. This happened about two weeks ago. I was going through a real bad, bad week, let me tell you. It was one of the attempts that I'd made to quit coke, and it was not successful. My buddy Chris hits me up, telling me that his brother got his hands on quite a lot of pills. One of them pills happened to be some bars. Me being the kind of guy I am, I'm like, dude, give me a lot of them. I go over there, I buy my fair share of these. I buy my fair share of these. Now, I got rid of them eventually, but I buy my fair share. I'm not going to specify how much, but we're just going to say it was enough. Now... I grab these, I kick it with Chris and his brother, and even Chris's dad, who isn't the most common character in these stories for a little while. You know, we, we smoke a little dope. It's just a chill kind of day. Then I go home, right? Now, I go home on this fine night, and I have these Zants, and I have some other stuff that I grabbed, which we're not going to mention because that's special, and we'll save it for a different video. But nevertheless, I had some Zants, and I'm sitting here. I got nothing to do. I'm a little bit stoned. It's late at night, and no one's home. I'm like, fuck it, dude. Let's pop some Zans, right? So I take a bar. I just take one of them. I'm chilling. No biggie. You know, maybe an hour goes by and I I'm pretty accustomed. Like my Zan tolerance was nowhere at this point because I hadn't taken them in so long. But I'm accustomed to the feeling. Like I knew what to expect. I was ready for it. So when it hit, like it didn't impact me in any way. I was still chilling, right? So either way, that first bar hit, there's some green hulks, right? And there's some pretty good bars. Now, they didn't come straight out of the script bottle, so I weren't, like, I can't be certain if they were pressed or real. Be careful with Zans, by the way. Always verify, motherfuckers. Do not try this at home. Do not do what I did. I'm an idiot for doing this. However, at the same time, I've known Chris's brother for ages. I trust my man, and I'm stupid. And don't even give me a bunch of comments talking about, well, you can't always trust the drug. You don't know where he got it from. I know that. That's why I gave the warning, everybody. But nevertheless, either way, don't do what I did. So I take one of these, and I'm chilling. I'm not feeling anything. And they taste like shit. I make sure, you know, whenever I'm going to take a bar, I make sure that I actually, like, let the thing sit on my tongue and taste it. And I make sure that I get that alprazolam shit-ass taste, right? If it's chalky, if it fucks up, if it's coming off of my fingers before I even put it in my mouth, I'm not taking it. These were super solid. These were super solid. They felt right. They seemed real as fuck, right? And if they were pressies, hey, great pressies, I'll tell you that. So either way, I pop one of them, I'm chilling, nothing happens. I'm like, yo, I'm not really as fucked up as I want to be, right? I'm going through my coke withdrawals. Like I said, it's a day of me attempting to quit, which didn't work. I think I did blow the next day. And... It just sucked ass. So I'm like, yo, I need some more of these. Now, barred out decision making is much more reckless than regular decision making. And I wasn't violently barred out, but I was barred out enough to have some reckless decision making. So I go over to my desk, pull open that fucking drawer, and I bust out two more of them shits. And I pop those little whores in my mouth and down them. Now, this is where shit gets hectic. Let me describe what I'm wearing to you guys. 
I'm wearing, I got a nice pair of 12s, right? I have the Bordeaux. I think that's how they're pronounced. They're the, the red suede ones. They're really nice. If you guys are shoe collectors or just know anything about Jordans, they're a pretty nice pair of shoes, right? You don't really want to mess up the material. They're, they're like, they're fucking suede. You can't, you don't want to mess it up, man. So I'm wearing these, right? Don't even ask why I got my kicks on in the crib. I like to step around, not fucking walk around, motherfucker. I step around the crib. So either way, you know, I'm chilling. The rest of my outfit's nothing special. I'm wearing like some basketball shorts and like some random ass like around the house t-shirt, right? But I have my nice shoes on. I go upstairs after I pop these two bars, right? Grab a glass of water, go back downstairs. Everything's still chilling, right? Everything's completely normal. I'm like, yo, lit. I I feel like, okay, you know? And at this point, I was like, I was stupid enough in the head to think that the other two bars had already hit me and this was all I had to expect. But like, I, I, I was just not ready, right? I go upstairs, grab myself a drink and I grab myself a bowl of fucking cereal, right? Now, the only cereal I had in my house, because the grocery shopping around here has been lacking, all right? The only cereal I had in my house was Raisin Bran Crunch, all right? Don't talk down on it. The shit's fire. But, like, all right, this is the most bartard-ass, like, cereal ever. I was out of milk, too, right? But I was super hungry, and the cereal sounded gas. I was like, I, I'm gonna find a way to make this work. So, I opened my fridge, and I got a little bit of half and half. And I, I got water, of course. So, I'm like, yo, what if I just do, like half half and half and then water <laughs> just the most fucking the most like depressing like drug addict bartard meal ever the half and half water cereal dude the half and half water raisin brain crunch i'm like yo dude this sounds like a good idea bro let's fucking try it and honest to god it was like good like like the it was like refreshing like i got hydrated after it like more hydrated than milk you know so like low-key at the time i was like pretty lit right but i didn't finish much of it i only had one or two fucking bites because the rest of it ended up somewhere else right I take my ass downstairs after I filled up the bowl, and I'm walking down these stairs trying to balance this fucking bowl of cereal, because I filled it way too high with water, right? It's like, this like murky white fucking liquid, dude, it looks like nut, it's fucked up, but it's too, it's too high up, so I like, I'm like drinking the like fucking watered down half and half to like lower the like levels as I'm like trying to walk down the stairs and not fall and spill any of this shit, and I do it, I get back downstairs, I sit down, right? Now... I sit on my couch, right? I'm playing some PlayStation at this point. I decide I'm going to try to play some games. My barred out ass thinks it's a good idea to buy The Sims 4 on the PlayStation because I felt like playing The Sims. Mind you, I have it on my computer and my computer's literally right next to my fucking PlayStation. But for some reason, I wanted to sit on the couch and that was worth the money to me. So, bang. Went on fucking PlayStation Store, bought The Sims 4, right? I don't even know. It wasn't on my main account. It was on one of my old accounts, like Ass Eater Goblin or some shit. For those of you guys who have been around for a while, you'll remember that. But nevertheless, either way, I sit down. And it had already taken me enough time to, like, formulate the idea for this cereal. Like, I I don't think I did it enough justice to, like, tell explain to you guys, like, how much of a bartard ass, like, event this was like it took me like 25 minutes to concoct this like watered down cereal dude because i was just genuinely thinking like i was looking i was like huh could iced tea work (laughs) like like, i'm just thinking of some junky ass shit so back downstairs right sitting on the couch got the cereal in my hand right now if you you know if you guys know me in person the few of you out there shout out to y'all you know that I'm very prone to nodding off when I'm on downers. If I sit down, I, I, I sleep, I'm a heavy sleeper. So like I will just fall asleep sitting up. No problem on someone's couch. My buddy Kevin, I fall asleep on that guy's couch. Like whenever I'm kicking it at that guy's crib, like if we're sitting on his couch watching fucking Netflix, I used to just slump. I used to knock out. That guy has like plenty of videos of me just slump, right? Funny shit. Now me being me, of course I slump at the bowl of cereal in my fucking hand, right? It just slowly happens. You know, I'm waiting for Sims 4 to download. I'm like, yo, it's only going to be like five minutes, dude. It wasn't even a big download. Like, it it was sizable because all PS4 games are, but I had good internet. I was on the Ethernet, so I was like, bet, dude. I'll just fucking sit here and enjoy myself, I guess. I don't really know what happened after that. I don't really know, like, what I did. What, like, like, if I ever got to play The Sims. (laughs) But all I know 
is I believe I got at most, at most, like one or two bites out of the cereal, or I just poured a fuckload of it because I wake up the next day. One of my shoes is on, one of my shoes is off. And I'm not sitting up, I'm like slight, like, like I'm like, the bottom half of me is sitting upright, but the top half of me is sideways, if that makes sense, right? I'm like, like I look like a clock. Like if it was like 3 p, if it was 3.30 p.m. on the clock, that's the shape of my body, the hands of the clock, right? Best way to describe it. Like, to a T, actually. Wow, that was a smart description, dude. Send me to college. Fucking sign me up. Either way. You know, I'm, I, I wake up like this. And at first, I'm just like, oh, damn, dude. I, I really fell asleep like that last night. Didn't really notice any anything wrong. I stand up. And there's nothing, like, falling off of me, really. Except for, like, little bits of raisin. But, like, glued to my fucking pants and my legs, my basketball shorts, and my legs, and after I look down, my shoes as well, is these watered-down, musty-ass Raisin Bran Crunch flakes all over me, dude. It looked like, like, you know on Nickelodeon when they dumped the green goo on the motherfucker when he wins the fucking Teen's Choice Award? It looked like they did that with Raisin Bran Crunch and let me fucking wallow in it for like a day, dude. I woke up, the whole fit was fucked. I was, I literally took off what I was wearing and threw it in the garbage, except for the shoes. The shoes, I was like, yo, dude, I have to do something about these. You know, I, I have to like try to like fix these. And... Thankfully, it wasn't milk. I have a feeling if it was completely milk, I might not have been able to. But for the most part, they're better now. You know, I cleaned them off and I had them waterproof. Luckily, before they sell like spray for that, and I had them waterproof already because it's suede. So luckily, the damage on them wasn't like that fucked or as fucked as it could have been. But nevertheless, I wake up in a mess of fucking watered down raisin bran crunch and my check my fucking debit card, check my bank account. I bought the goddamn Sims 4 for no fucking reason. I didn't even buy the EA pass. I actually bought the fucking game for full goddamn price. No reason. Didn't even fucking play it. Didn't even play it, I don't think. Maybe I did. I haven't tried it since because I have it on my computer. But nevertheless, either way. Hope you guys enjoyed this fucking video. Quick little video just to drop before the Banger Coat Chronicles 4 tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.